other place in the province where, it's again, women were going missing and being murdered. Most of the cases were unsolved. And once again, most of those women were indigenous. Those women were indigenous. Those women were, those women were, those women were, those women were. For more than 100 years, the Indian Act stated that status Indians were considered to be wards of the state and were unfit to take care of themselves and their children. Part of the Indian's problem is in assimilating with the rest of the nation. Public perception is bullshit. Those women were, those women were, those women were, those women were. Pray for us in the name of the Father. It's a perfect place to go missing forever. RCMP numbers, nine women have gone missing or been murdered along that specific stretch of highway. If you ask First Nations groups or just the communities along this route, they'll tell you that number is much higher. Public perception is bullshit. Is there systemic racism in Canadian policing? What connections do you see between the child welfare system and the epidemic of missing and murdered Indigenous women? In the child welfare system, often what ends up happening is a devaluing of Indigenous life, especially for Indigenous women and girls. Of systemic racism being embedded into policy and procedure. When I think of it in those terms, I think it's not completely systemic. If it was a white girl who was got killed, would they have done something? We will never forget our daughters or granddaughters. Public perception is bullshit. Oh, pardon my language. 